I'm Miss Logan. I teach kindergarten at Magma Ranch and I've been teaching for four years. I realized one day that someone has to help these kids and it has to be someone who's struggled and been there with them in that same spot to understand what they're going through and why it's frustrating for them that they can't just pick this stuff up. They know that I care about them and that I want them to be their best and it's not even an academic best. I just want them to be their best selves and I want, I always tell them, I want you to be good humans. Not good students, I want you to be good humans. I want you to make good choices and be responsible and respectful. And if they can do that, then the learning part comes easy because they're respectful and responsible with their work, of their classmates, and of their teachers. And that sticks with them forever. I love what I do. I love what I do. I do. I love what I do. I love what I do. We work here at Magma, we're working on the whole student, socially, academically, even within the community. And that's why I love teaching primary. Us first grade teachers here at Magma, we that's our goal is to have these kids to love to learn and to set them out in a good foundation so that when, when they move up to higher grades, they're gonna rock it. They're awesome. I'm Mrs. Rudko and I teach second grade and this is my seventh year teaching second grade at Magma Ranch. The little guys are just so sweet. They come to school eager to learn. They're very kind to each other. They're still um, want to make everybody happy, not just their teachers, but their friends as well. In the younger grades, it's really when they're learning all of their foundational skills. It's when they're learning their letters, their sounds, basic numbers, basic addition, and everything else in the higher grades adds upon that. So if they don't have a good foundation in those early years, they're gonna struggle throughout their whole school career. I know as a student I did because I wasn't a great reader and it really was hard for me to kind of keep up on my own, my own education. I listen, I take the time to know each one of them and what works for each one of them and what can build their self-esteem and to overall make them successful in all areas. Every day we're learning something new and you see that confidence and their self-esteem and their wanting to learn and that's first grade that's what you want because like I said we're foundational class and if you give them that concrete awesome foundation they're gonna love learning they're gonna want to come to school in their later on years and they're gonna remember first grade but I love to see that growth they're they're learning to read more they're they're just expanding their knowledge about even the world all the way around it's just the whole individual growth. It's awesome. PBIS means Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. So we have three different tiers, and the first tier is called Tier 1, and we use that on all of our students, but it's really to target the 85% of kids that already do want to behave well, that constantly make right choices. And it encourages their peers who um, who might struggle in that area to make good choices while they're at school as well. While I'm taking attendance, they're putting their things away, putting their lunch where it belongs, hanging up their backpacks, and getting ready to start. And then as soon as we're done with our morning announcements, which we watch on a video, we jump right into our Spalding Phonics Reading and Writing program. We transition from that very smoothly into our, um, our reading program, where we uh, focus on a different story every week with also other support materials. So our morning is pretty jam-packed. We are, we hit the ground running and by 8.30 we're learning and we finally take a break around 11 for lunch. In the meantime we do centers, we do small group activities, whole group activities, a lot of discussion and a lot of peer support. These kids I got lucky. These are the kids that I look at and I know you're gonna do amazing things one day. They are so creative, competitive, and they, they want to work hard. They want to be the best version of themselves. And I don't know if I necessarily have goals of what I want them to do. I'm just excited to see 
as they get older and I get to watch them starting from such a young age, what goals they set for themselves and how they accomplish them because they're going to.